Good morning all. It's a That's beautiful a great angle, Sam. <laughs> Good morning all. It's a beautiful Saturday morning in September. First weekend in September. Yes. yes. My birthday month September. It is. I'm gonna be twenty-one. No, you know. I could be. If you thought about it hard enough. Yeah. Where are we going? I'm gonna test drive a car. Yes, Emma's going to go test drive an electric vehicle. I've never test driven a car before and I'm feeling very... Oh. She's that anxious. Ah, she I forgot she, how to drive! She's that anxious to go and find gear on car. Yeah, I've never test driven a car before because when I bought this car I just bought it online. Yeah, because it was pink. Got pink on it. It's got pink bits. But because it's an electric I feel like I should go and test drive it because I've never driven an electric before. Yep. But I'm also anxious because I don't want to buy this car, the car that we're going to see. No, but the th <laughs> so she's test driving an electric Volkswagen E up or A up as I call them. A up. Uh, <laughs> um, but say I do one called the Me Electric, which Another is the day. same car, but cheaper. for whatever reason the Seat is cheaper. And to be honest, I, working on Seats, Seats are better quality, yeah. and better value, and it's they got are, more yeah, range. More range for cheaper. And it's cheaper. And not like a little bit cheaper, like four or five grand cheaper. Which is a chunk of change. Seems a bit wild. Yeah. So the electric car, we're going to go drive it because it's the same, like I say, same car. We're going to see how she gets on. And if you like it, what I'll if you don't it. like it? Because you've sold yourself on this. I know. If I don't like it, we're going to have to go back to the drawing board on yeah. what car to think about. So. Yeah. But yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll see you there. We have arrived. Emma, Emma doesn't want to speak loudly, do anything, make eye contact. I'm very anxious. I don't. I'm not good with pushy salespeople. I've told you just to. It's like my worst nightmare. Never. That's like what will happen in hell to me is that people will try and sell me stuff that I don't want. But I've told you you just got to let them get that out of their system. Yeah. Because that's what they're told to do and designed yeah, to do. I know they're just doing their job. Yep. Yes. But I've told her to say no, and you know to say no. Yeah, I don't want this car. I do not want this car. I'm not buying this car today. But yes, we shall go inside. Vacate. Vacate, probably look at some nice cars anyway. Right. See ya. First time I got in a car, like on my first lesson. It's so quiet. Isn't it? How many miles an hour am I going? We're back in Cindy. Good Test, old Cindy the Citroen. Test drive complete. Good old Cindy the Citroen. You know uh, where I am with Cindy. So you enjoyed it, didn't you, actually? I actually did. I think I kept trying to press the clutch down and trying to change the gear. But that but happens with that an electric. I told her that does happen with an electric car. Yeah. You, or an automatic, as you get so used to a clutch being there that you're like, it's just because... I well, think you accidentally press the brake and go through it. Yeah, so I've been driving for <coughs> eight years. <coughs> um, and I've driven it manual the entire time. A bad way. So, your brain is... Like, because I don't think about driving anymore. No. You just drive. It's like, um, it's like riding a bike. Yeah, it's like muscle memory. So then your muscle memory kicks in. Trying to change your gears and stuff. But, it was nice. I mean... I'm not going to get that one. No. They, they tried to send in the big gun salesman after. But yeah, when we were obviously like, I'm a Well, you, you like, was like, um, but, uh, the, uh, Yeah, the big guns manager. And I need to sort out selling this car. Like, I saw you flap and then he was, I was like, no, 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 no. We're just here because she wants to know what it's like to drive an electric car because she's just curious. Yeah, and then they lost my driving licence, which was a very tense few minutes. It was, I could, I could see the guy panicking. And I'm glad he found it because I didn't want him to get in trouble. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. But we're all good and I do like it. So now I just need to look to fix all the things that are broken on Cindy before selling. <laughs> Which isn't a lot, really. No, just a slow puncture in the tyre and a broken uh, wing mirror light, but <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> get it all back. <laughs> yeah, and then probably sell it. Well, yeah. you'll get you'll get Cindy Valata, then keep it. Yeah, I need to get a, a valeted. She smells like wood chip <laughs> at the minute. <laughs> but yeah, I like, I like the car and I like the idea of having an electric. If you don't know, all new build houses have to have a 
An outdoor a electric, car, electric outlet. electric port. Uh, outlet, yeah. Um, where am I going? Where am I going? Straight on. Straight on. Yeah. Oh, I don't like it when Sam says, I'll direct you. Well, because it I'm doesn't not direct working. me. Anyway, I think I'm... Straight on again. I think I'm excited about an electric. Or you got... You're electrified. A car port thing. Just need to sell this car and find the actually actual car that I want. <laughs> But yeah, we're now going to go to Morrison's because they've got an outdoor centre. Morrison's. Gardening centre. Morrison's on steroids, apparently. Yeah, well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Let's, I Let's need see. a drink and, uh, and the food. Drink. We'll be fishing chip shops down here as well. Yeah, well, I don't think I can stomach fish. Ted! Ted Bean! Every time, every time he's at the little window. <laughs> oh, a little doggo. So we're home, as you can tell. You know what our house looks like by now. This is the kitchen. <laughs> wow. Um, so yeah, a bit of a random intro to today because we were up and about and uh, my car viewing was at 10, so we had to get to Sheffield for half my way. Anyway, so we had to be up and about this morning, so we didn't intro the vlog pro pro properly. However, yeah, car stuff went okay. My brain's kind of like frazzled. I think me and Sam will sit down tomorrow and make a proper plan of what to do because I now need to look at selling my car or part exchanging it if I can find someone that will do that for me. I've rang my finance people, got a final quote from them. Oh, I, hate be, I hate being an adult, I hate being an adult. I'll say it once more, I hate being an adult. But, new car, so that's exciting. Um, yes, now Sam has gone off to, where's Sam gone? He's gone to meet his friends for lunch. Um, every year, all of his friendship group go out in September for their friend's birthday. It's their friends, like, it's, they go out for the friend's birthday, but it's like, the one time a year they all get together and go out. Um, they normally go to York actually, it's normally a day trip to York with drinking and stuff, but anyway, for whatever reason, they've not gone to York. Is there train strikes? There might be train strikes. Anyway, so Sam would have gone out day drinking with them today. However, he's got a gig this evening that he signed up for, so he's got to commit and do it. So he is, Going to meet them for lunch, have one drink, he's driving, come back, be with me. <laughs> we'll have tea together and then we're both going to the gig later tonight. And then if his friends are still out, uh, whenever the gig finishes, which if it's been a long day session, they might not be, um, I'll drop him off in town to finish the night up. Does that make sense? Maybe, maybe not, don't know. Um, I'm not repeating it, so... <laughs> So I am here on my own, although I'm not going to be here for much longer because I'm going up to the allotment plot. If you don't know, we took on an allotment, which if you're not in the UK, you might not know what an allotment is actually. An allotment is a piece of land given to you. Well, normally the council rents out these pieces of land um, and it's called a plot. So you have a little section of the land um, to grow stuff and you rent it off the council or in our case, we rent it off like a private association and it's yours to grow fruit and veg flowers whatever you want really as long as it's safe and legal there have been people apparently on the plot that weren't doing legal growings if you know um but we're doing legal growings you know carrots <laughs> um so yes i'm gonna go up to the allotment plot shortly um i need to get changed and get ready for that um and then my auntie is driving down from Scotland. So my auntie lives in Scotland um, with my cousin. <laughs> my cousin went to France with my mum. My mum's currently in France, hence why we're looking after the dog. Oh my God, I'm doing so much explaining. You don't need to know all this. Anyway, my auntie's coming down from Scotland to pick my cousin up who's been on holiday with my mum. Does that make sense? And I need to let her into my mum's house because I've got the key. So, <laughs> fucking hell. You don't need to know all this, but I'm explaining this to you. You don't need to know my life story. Anyway, I'm going to go see my auntie at some point this afternoon when she arrives. <laughs> but 
but she's driven down from Scotland so I have no idea what time she's going to be here. It might be when I'm at the plot so I might have to detour the plot if she does arrive while I'm there. Our neighbour's doing his garden so there's lots of noise out and about. Our sunflowers have bloomed. <laughs> Segway. Our sunflowers bloomed. We planted these in March, I want to say. I did it on a vlog. Um, but yeah, they bloomed. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. I'll not open the door and show you because as I said, our neighbour's doing work on the garden. Sam cut the grass yesterday. Ignore all the dog wee patches. It's the bane of our existence. Ignore the washing. Just pretend that that's our garden. You know, just look at that. That's our beautiful garden. Look at that. Look at that sunflower. So yeah. Oh, still zoomed in. Let's, uh... there we go. <laughs> it's a bit of chaos, this vlog today. So anyway, I'll go down to the allotment. Um, for a couple of hours maybe i can't be asked to do any heavy work but that's what i'm doing um yeah i got my first birthday card it's my birthday is it next week the week after my birthday is the 12th of september if you're interested and if you want to send me a little happy birthday in the comments anyway got a birthday card from dobby's garden center love them dobby's garden center is my favorite garden center it's up the road from us and they've sent a voucher for two free teas and two scones or cakes. So I feel like me and Sam may take a little visit to Dobby's Garden World tomorrow to enjoy our little freebies. We're not doing anything else tomorrow, so it'd be quite nice. But yeah, that is a little life update. If we're doing life updates, may as well tell you we've had two car fines this week. That really hit hard. We got fined for being in a bus lane oh. uh, the other week when I was driving Sam got it through on his car and we worked out that I was driving not ideal but in my defence the town where I grew up in the town I live in doesn't have bus lanes and we're in Sheffield which does have bus lanes with cameras apparently so that was 35 quid and then today when we came home we had another lovely letter from Bristol City Council to Sam again <laughs> to say that Sam had driven through a clean air zone and uh, had to pay £69. So I paid that for him because I didn't pay the other, other fans. So I think we've like evened it out of who's paying for what, but it's all right. I think we've about paid half each. Does that work out? I don't know. Anyway, paid now, being good citizens. So that's an update in our lives. That was the not so good news. Is there any good news? Yeah, good, we'll, we'll say the good news is the sunflower and that our garden looks nice and we're expected to have a heat wave this week. Hopefully. Hopefully our tomatoes will ripen in the sun because we've not had a single red tomato yet. Um, and then the bad news is that we've got two car fines. But the good news is I might be getting a new car. So, you know, you take the peaks with the troughs and we all move on. And uh, I'm gonna stop jibber jabbering. How long have we been recording? Don't know, don't tell me. Seven minutes, wow. <laughs> it's because I've got nothing else to say I've got nothing else to say so I'm just jabbering about our lives isn't that what a vlog is anyway I'm going to go get changed because I'm wearing jeans and it's too hot for jeans so I'm going to put shorts on maybe maybe that's fun shorts weather eventually and yeah go to the allotment go see my auntie bish bash bosh let's get on with the day Ted Ted's also not allowed outside because he's got beef with the neighbour's dog. So whenever the neighbour's dog is out, we can't let Ted out. It's a whole, it's a whole situation. Anyway, I'm going to stop jibbering. Stop jabbering, Emma. Stop. 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 Right, we're stopping. Stop him. So I've made it to our little allotment plot. And I got myself a little treato on the way. It <laughs> should have heard me ordering it. So I went, I want one of those oat brown shaken espresso things because I never know what they're called. And I guess she goes, yeah, 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 except we've got no oat milk. Right, okay. So, okay, have you got coconut milk? Coconut milk's normally my go-to milk. She goes, no, we've got no coconut milk. It's either almond or soy milk. Right, okay, no problem. Almond milk, because soy milk tastes like ass, if you don't know. 
Um, right, almond milk, absolutely fine. Can I have a medium? Yeah, but we'll have to give you a lot. We'll have to put it in a large cup. So I think they've actually given me a large worth, which is okay. And I have, I'm not going to do taste tests because I have had one of these before. I would have got pumpkin spice lattes are back. They are available. However, I like, I only like pumpkin spice things when it's hot. And it's too warm today, it's like 25 degrees, so I'm getting a cold coffee, I'm not getting a hot pumpkin spice latte. Although I will have a pumpkin spice latte, if, it, if the weather turns back to cold, I will get one. Anyway, that's my little update, I'll not ramble on too much. Yeah, Coffee might be a mistake, an allotment plot with no toilet. Oh well, it's too late now, we're here now. Here now. We're both home. Both home. I've just got in. Sam's been in. Hello. Sam started cooking dinner and then stopped because he didn't want to make a bechamel. Nope. So. Oh my god, I've literally got deer everywhere. Wow. All on my face. Well, we'll have to oh well. Eating, eating, go. Yes, we're going to have to have a quick turnaround because, 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 because. Of Sam's gig tonight. Three move forward. Two. Oh, you earlier. Eight o'clock. Yeah. Oh, I thought you changed it from that. No. We move forward to eight o'clock. Anyway. So we have to get there for roughly seven. Shit. That's what I'm saying. We it's ten make. past six. Yeah. Well. Okie dokie. drama llama so well not a drama llama i'm exaggerating i've not spoke to you in ages because we finished well we rushed tea i managed to eat mine at home sam put his in a tupperware and then we rushed to the gig filmed the gig there was a dog there was there were dogs at the gig anyway cute little festival thing um sam's band got some really really good news which i'm not going to talk about but it's really exciting especially for me Potentially supporting, potentially someone really cool that I'm a big fan of, so I'm going to be going to that gig. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say any of that. Maybe not. If I am, I, I will. <laughs> if I'm not, I'll bleep it all out. Um, yes, and then uh, I have now dropped Sam off in town with his friend. Because um, he, he couldn't stay out with him all day, obviously, because he had the gig. So he's, meeting, he's met them now in town. I'm home, the dogs are eating the dinner really late, the camera's dying. So yeah, all I'm gonna do is go pick Sam up later. Um, I give him the cut off of midnight <laughs> before I wanna go to bed and then he has to get a taxi if it's later than that. Um, but yeah, I'll pick Sam up and then we'll go to bed and I'll speak to you in the morning. That's, that's it, that's our update. Sorry, it's been uh, a bit hectic, uh, but tomorrow we'll be more chilled. <laughs> Morning. Morning, everyone. This is what Ted thinks of me, by the way. He wants to get to Sam. So I'm just an obstacle to be laid on. Brilliant. Samuel, yeah. don't tell me you're still in bed. I fell back to sleep. <laughs> hello. Hello. Say hello to our friends. Hello, friends. We've not spoken to them today. I haven't, I'll tell you that. Apart from the brief until they're in bed this morning. Yeah. So, what happened yesterday? Uh, I went out for a bit. And came back in at 
well, came to bed at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I think I, the last clip I filmed was, oh, I'll pick Sam up in a bit. No, I went to bed. Um. <laughs> well, I, well, I'm, I'm not actually, wasn't actually drunk. Really. No. I just uh, got in at four in the morning and then woke up at half past eight to a dog going. <laughs> to Bella crying, yeah. Well, it's not a problem. No, she's been returned to her rightful owner. Because my mum, my mum and stepdad are back off the holly bobs now. So I gave him, gave him back this morning. <laughs> as soon as humanly possible. Not my problem. <laughs> and we had a McDonald's. Mhm. Mm at, at, at your request. I needed some energy. Uh, and now we're at the allotment again. Tell us something new. Mm -hmm. Then they're going to be here for not long though. Yeah, not long because Formula One's on in a bit. And yeah, I do should do dinner. I'm going to cook Sunday dinner. Yes, my mum and stepdad are coming to help at the allotment a little bit, cut the grass for us because they've got a lawnmower that works. Uh, and yeah, I offered to cook Sunday dinner because I like Sunday dinner. I mm. like cooking Sunday dinner. So yeah, that's our plan for, to, for today. It is. Yeah, it's a lovely day. Sunny. Me some yeah. We'll just take a line off though. <laughs> I know it's a bit funny here. I feel like you think it's sunny but then you put your sunglasses on and it's not. It don't feel right. No. Oh well. But yeah, it's nice weather. I mean, t shirt. It is. Shorts, perfect shorts, shorts weather. Which is funny because it's what, the third of September now? Yeah. Second of September? It's gone third. Third. So hopefully it stays nice weather for my birthday. That'd be nice. Mm. Sometimes is actually. In sometimes mid -September, mid September. Sometimes, not all times. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> Big tea stone. Bye. We're home. Hello. Oh, Gigi Pony. It is way too hot to Gigi be doing Pony. any sort of gardening today. Yes. It is like a thousand degrees in September. So. Sam's just showing off his assets. We stole those beetroots. True. It's true, we did. We didn't grow them. It's fine though, it's fine. The situation's fine, they're not stealing them. Yeah, we did steal them, but we had permission from the plot that we stole them from. We know someone that's, well. We know the Oh God, chaos. My, dad, my dad's partner is taking on a plot next door to us and they had beetroot growing, so I stole it. We need a drink. We are thoroughly dehydrated. Oh, mate. Oh, yes. I'm going to have a Do you want a black currant one? I don't mind having an orange one. No, I'll have a black one. Yeah. I like black one. Oh, yes. Oh, no, all the others are frozen. And a cold glass of fizzy bubbly. Fizzy bubbly. We've got Fanta if you'd prefer. Or are you having Coke? I'm going to have an ice cold. Branded, actually. Mm. I didn't buy them. <laughs> yes, this is well deserved. And yeah, it's too hot, <laughs> too hot to garden. Um, I am gonna, I'm gonna have these and then pop to the shop because I need to get stuff for tea. I did promise a Sunday dinner, but I don't know if it's too hot for a Sunday dinner. I feel like it is too hot for a Sunday dinner, but I did sort of promise a Sunday dinner, so now I'm conflicted. Um, what else shall I show you? Oh, makeup's everywhere. This was the present my mum got me and uh, Sam for dog sitting. Brambly gin and a wildflower gin, which look very posh. They can go add to our <laughs> growing, actually, alcohol cupboard. It's actually doing really well in there. They can go in there, look. Oh, gin for days. Some brief context before I turn you around. Uh, Ted's favourite toy is the washing line pole um, because Sam uses it as a spear or what a jousting pole. So I'm just gonna, that's the context before I show you now. Go on then, Ted, go get him. Go on, go get him.
boys boys in your house this is what happens when you have boys in your house it's ridiculous we're being very gender old today <laughs> talking about boys in the house i'm making a bloody sunday dinner so i've got broccoli and cauliflower cheese under there ready to go in the oven made my own bechamel because i'm into making bechamels now i uh, made mac and cheese last night that was yummy and uh earlier in the week i made a cheese sauce for i made hot dog dirty fries and they were were they not chef's kiss so i'm into making my own bechamel now so i've done that and i'm just chopping up potatoes to parboil them is it part boil or parboil part boil or parboil part boil because i always call it parboil i don't know you tell me um so yeah, i'm doing that ready to make roasties and then i just i'm cheating a little bit um because i got morrison's pasties and it was sunday so they discounted winner winner um <laughs> Yeah, I wanted pies, to be fair, which is more Sunday dinner appropriate than pasties, but they didn't have any, so pasties it is. And then I'm also going to do carrots, roasted carrots with like honey and stuff. So that is the plan, Stan. What do you think? You can have some, you can have some gravy on your tea, Ted. That's your Sunday dinner. <laughs> is very sam things by the way oh arach arachnophobes look away now hi friend oh yeah, he's got a friend do you know if they get um, aroused and stuff nice or like well not aroused but you know <laughs> yeah uh their um abdomen starts moving hey on its own yeah Ooh. The more you know. Ooh, you burnt. I know, I've burnt. I felt it. I felt it earlier. No, I know, I've burnt. And that's the kind of thing you have to deal with when you live with a boy, by the way. Come look at this spider, and then you have to go and look at the spider. So I'm saying you don't have to, but I feel like I do have to look at the spider. No. What's the magic word? Yeah, how burnt am I? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's... She's rosy. She's the same as that cereal box. She's rosy. Put some uh, after sun on that later, I think. I do think. Inform the gender roles that we are apparently doing today. Sam's fixing the table <laughs> while I'm doing the dinner. This uh, table. The thing, the thing is, we do eat at the table, but we just happily live with yeah, that. It's rickety. We eat at this table if someone wants occasionally. To live, like, Sponsor us and Hashtag send us a, send us a send dining us room a table. Because our, yeah, you c yeah, this is a great example. I mean, you've had this for a long time. Yeah, we had this at our old house. I had it before Sam lived with me. That's how old it is. Um, so yeah, it's tried to be glued. Emma that Rogers didn't work. Lives everything off. It looks nice. It does look nice. Does you say that mean look nice? <laughs> does everybody know what's happening? Hmm? Have you told them? Have you told the masses? Oh, that we're having Sunday dinner. No, well, apart from that. Oh, with you? No, with you. With me? What What's happening with me? Oh, yeah. We said yesterday, didn't we? Oh, yeah. When we went to the thingy. What are you actually doing? Yeah, I might be getting it tomorrow now. Things have progressed. Wasn't the, wasn't the car that you went in? No, it was not the car I test drove, but it is the car I originally wanted, wanted. Um, and I sent an inquiry about it last week. Um, and then they rang me and said that they'd reserved it for someone else but if that person fell through then they'd to let me know well they didn't let me know but I got an email to say it was back in stock um, and so they've arranged for me to go and view it slash buy it tomorrow 
which is uh, exciting. It's gonna be late in the evening tomorrow. Yes, going after work, but you know, why, why not? I know what car I want, test drove it, liked it. Bish bash bosh, sell my car. I do need to get a new part for my car before I take it and wash my car and hoover it and fix a few things to make them not think my car's a pile of shit um, before I sell it. But yes, that is an update. Dinner is on the go. They're ready to go in, they're ready to go in. Mac and uh, broccoli, broccoli cauliflower cheese is ready to go in. But I'm doing the Yorkie puds. Sam requested Yorkie puds last minute. So I'm doing Yorkie puds. And um, yeah, so whenever I've followed a recipe to make Yorkshire puddings, they turn out like puffins which is what Sam's family or Sam's nana calls it when they're flat and they don't rise at the edges, puffins. Um, but the last few times I've tried to make them, I've not followed a recipe, I've just chucked a load of stuff in a bowl, whisked it, put it in the fridge and then left it. Um, so that's what I'm doing today in the hopes that winging it will somehow turn out better than following a recipe. So <laughs> that's how I find most things turn out better if you're not trying. So that's what I'm doing. Sam's fixing the table so we can actually sit at a not rickety table. Mm -hmm. Emma's having some anxiety juice. Just some just some light anxiety juice at uh, six o'clock. Cold coffee anxiety juice, by the way. But yes, so I'm just waiting to do the Yorkie Puds separately um, because Yorkie Puds need a very hot oven. And if you don't know, you have to put your oil in the tin first and let it heat up to burning temperatures and then you put your uh, mix straight in into the hot oil and that's how you make good Yorkie puds. If you're not from Yorkshire that's how you do it. I'm honorary, you're from Yorkshire. I live with a Yorkshire person. You said, you've said that all oh, this house is becoming more and more Derbyshire but the last I checked there's more Yorkshire things in this house. We'll see. Where's Ted technically from? He's from Chester. Yeah. So he's not either, is he? Dirty. If he had an accent, he'd be posh. Dirty foreigner. Anyway. Not, not that way. Like that. I'm gonna no. Where Sam would call foreign. me a dirty foreigner for being from Derbyshire and not Yorkshire. Yeah, but that's, that's like what he that, means. That's jerking dialect. That's what he means. Just before you come for us, good God. Anyway, I feel very burnt. I can feel it now. You are very. I also need to get changed now because after cooking Sunday dinner, I am absolutely filthy. Right, onwards, we carry on. Now I don't want to toot my own horn, but these Yorkies, the lighting, sorry. These Yorkies are the best ones I've ever made in my entire life. They're incredible. They're amazing. And no, I don't have a recipe because <laughs> I winged it, so. Oh my God, how? Get a cinematic. Oh, beautiful. They are so good. I'm so impressed. I'm so clever. I'm so clever. Look at those bad boys. now still got my hair up because it's so warm and I am so so sunburned I didn't realize it was that bad whoops um but yeah everything's in the oven cooking crumbles in the fridge ready to go in I've got a gin I've got fresh flowers look at that beautiful beautiful just checking on the food oh She's, she's good. She knows how to cook a Sunday dinner. It's one of my talents. <laughs> recently I've been saying I'm gonna be a chef because everything I've cooked has just worked recently. Usually it doesn't happen. But yes, so now we're just waiting for my, I think I've said the whole thing we're doing is that my mum and stepdad are coming for Sunday dinner. I think I said that earlier. If I didn't, none of this makes sense. So, but yes, they're on the way. So I'll see you in a little bit. Face that way. Lighting's better that way. There you go. 
You can see I look so tiny when you hold the camera. That's because I, I am... I feel like a tiny little bean. Yeah. I am the equivalent to like there on the cupboard. Yeah. Hello, by the way. Hello. Don't mind us just having a chin wag. Yes, we've had your mother and stepdad around. Paul. Yeah, Sunday dinner was yummy. I outdid myself, truly. Mm, and the Yorkie Puds. The Yorkie Puds were fucking phenomenal. Yeah. If I do say so myself. Insert that belief there. <laughs> and I had, did rhubarb crumble mm -hmm. because we had leftover. If, if, if we, rhubarb sound, crumbling if we sound slurry and a bit. Use it. It's, it's not because we're pissed. We're not pissed, we're just both very tired. <laughs> yeah, Sam got a four hour sleep last night. The, the way you're making them. Yeah, and I was panicking where Sam was, so I woke up every hour so I didn't get continuous mm -hmm. sleep. <laughs> I'd wake up at like one and Sam wouldn't be in bed, and I'd think, right, and wake up at two, still not in bed. I thought, right. <laughs> I would. I, I did message her. I no, he messaged me to say he was on his way back, to be fair. Um, yeah, I'm really full. And red and I'm so sunburned. I quite I didn't realise quite how bad it was, but I'm really, really, really peachy. You are mm, almost that. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really sunburned. Which is not oh, clever. Someone looks like he's ready to go. It's bedtime, mate, it's not zoomy time. Someone looks like he's ready to go party. It's tidy up and go to bed why do you do this, Ted? Why do you get all of the energy when we want to go to bed? <laughs> but yes, we're going to tidy up now, aren't we? Yeah. Well, as much as we can be asked. And call it an evening. That's what dishwashers are for. We've we've overfilled our dishwasher. That's how much like washing it we've got. You're going to potentially look at rates. Oh, that's car. such a grown up thing to do, looking at APR rates for car finance. Well, that's welcome. so disgusting. Welcome to cost of living. No, I'm, oh, no, I'm, I'm not. not good with stuff like this. My mum's offered to come with me and she's a bit of a hardballer at car things and buying things. And she knocked like 10 grand off a caravan once because she just, she just holds the ground and I'm not, I'm sort of take it as it comes. Whatever they're going to offer me is a good deal. I'll just have it. <laughs> you would not be, you'd be, you'd be very good abroad, would you? I am not good at bargaining and hassling and what's it called? Bartering. It's not for me. That's not, anyway, she's offered to come with me, so I'm a bit scared about that. Um, I might not come back with a car if she comes with me. Just tell me to walk away. But yeah, but, yeah find out I'm going to put so much after sun on my poor little shoulders. Go to bed. That is our evening complete. I don't know how much we've vlogged no. this weekend. I don't think we any of it was interesting. We haven't done a lot, have we? <laughs> I mean, well, we, no, no, that's true. We we've done a bit, but <laughs> we've done a bit, but like we'd all done like an independent, like a gig and yeah, we've not been together together. We've not done much. We were going to go to Dobby's today, but we went to Lomond instead. Surprise, surprise. Um, but yeah, it's not even going to be better next week because Sam's abandoning me Friday the whole and, weekend. Friday and Saturday. My uh, birthday weekend, I will have you all know, my birthday weekend Sam's abandoning me both days. Yes. Both available going out days, Friday and Saturday, I have been abandoned. But are we not, we both said to do the following weekend. Yeah, but... <laughs> Look, I discuss you like birthday weeks. Yeah, I want a birthday month. Really, ideally, if we've that's got it. choices. It's non-negotiable. I have a birthday and that's all I need and want. Anyway, that's next that's week's problem. But anyway, we shall... Uh, Stop rambling and go to bed. See you a little later. Do the usuals. You know. All those bits. All the One likes the, and the what, buttons. Whatever, and whatever's along and here. Subscribe and the whatever. Whatever's up there. Check out our lot of vlogs. If you're down interested, there. there should be a couple out by now. Oh, that side. I don't know which side it comes up. If you're interested in gardening. Yeah, if you're interested in it. Or growing your own. Try it out. We uh, blogs. If you're not, don't bother. It's alright. I won't be offended. Yeah, but I think it's I think it's a bit of a a lost lost art form. 
I think we've gone very into the growing and expecting it to be there on the table there and then. Yeah, where I do, blame Amazon for all that. Yeah, where do, where does veg come from, Tesco? You yeah. know, we're, we're trying to get out of that. And when you do grow it, it is nicer. Yeah, uh, we had potatoes on a Sunday dinner from the allotment. Not that we planted, but they were there out the ground. Pulled they were the ground. out the ground. We had rhubarb crumble made from rhubarb from the allotment. Oh, that's the remainders. <laughs> so, you know, we did use, utilise some of it, mm. whatever we've got. It's and fun. we're not going to utilise it. Uh -huh. So anyway, we'll stop rambling for the second time. I'm going to yeah. go to bed. I'll actually go to bed now. Bye. 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 See you next week. Bye. Bye.